if you have narcissistic parents and you want to know how to be able to honor your parents despite them being emotionally abusive watch this video so this is a very big issue for anyone who wants to do god's will and who wants to be in good standing with god but a lot of us have parents that don't necessarily fit the biblical definition of a parent because some of us have parents that are parents in the flesh not in the soul meaning that well they're your biological parents right they gave birth to you but they never really acted like a parent should they never guided you they never provided the emotional support the emotional security the love the protection the healthy environment for you to be able to flourish as a healthy adult and they left you with some trauma and some obstacles to overcome on your own too many people only talk about one side, about the biblical requirements for children towards their parents, but they never talk about the biblical requirements of parents towards their children. The Bible says that children are blessings and God entrusted parents with responsibilities towards their children. And obviously, narcissistic parents or emotionally immature parents do not measure up to the biblical standard of a parent. So the question is, how do you honor a toxic parent? Even though they never treasured you, like the blessing that you are, that God says you are, even though they emotionally abused you, and they set you up for battles that you had to overcome on your own. So you were your own parent, basically. And for some of you watching, it's even worse than that because not only that, but they've never repented for that and they've never even taken accountability that they ever did anything wrong. That's especially true if you have narcissistic parents, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So just the fact that even after all these years, they keep gaslighting you and deflecting and they never want to take accountability and get real with the facts, it makes it even harder. Listen to me, the most honorable thing you can do for yourself and for them is to set strong boundaries because this relationship is not glorifying God. So by doing that, you're stopping yourself from sinning and you're stopping them from sinning towards you. Because if they don't want to repent and they keep sinning against you, the best thing to do is to set strong, unbreakable boundaries. Ephesians 4 verse 32 says, And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. So keep two things in mind, forgiveness and kindness. So first of all, kindness. Kindness is not being nice. Kindness is with the actions. Being nice is with the talk. Being nice is forcing disingenuine conversations, forcing a connection that is not there being kind is being respectful and compassionate and i would say being kind is really with the actions whereas being nice is with the talk and you can still be kind and forgiving while enforcing the proper boundaries being kind does not mean enabling sin now the second point is forgiveness forgiveness is a must because unforgiveness can curse you and it can ruin your relationship with God, it can block your blessings. You deserve to forgive for your own sake. First, for your relationship with God, and second, for you to be free from those emotional burdens. Unforgiveness leads to bitterness, and if you're walking in bitterness and resentment, you cannot receive God's best for you. So you deserve to forgive for your own sake and also for God to forgive you of your sins. And if this is something that you struggle with, it's very important to address it. I have a step-by-step -step process to help you overcome emotional trauma, let go of the past, recognize your triggers and patterns, restore your self-image, overcome limiting beliefs, and much more. The process is straight to the point, no fluff. It's seven modules, and you can complete it in one to three days. And it comes with practical exercises, which makes all the difference between just learning and actually applying and actually experience real change. The link is in my bio.
And I'll make a part two on forgiveness because so many people have misconceptions about forgiveness and forgiveness is extremely important. So follow for part two and God bless you.